Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install the latest versions of Windows 11 on your Windows 11 computer. So, if you're curious about how to get the latest feature build, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, a couple different ways, if you were to open up the search menu and just search for update, you can go ahead and select the check for updates button. And usually feature updates will be listed on the right side here, and you might have to manually initiate the process to actually begin installing it. If you do not see it in here, again, you may want to go ahead and actually check for updates. So just give it a moment here and see if it populates in the list. So there just looks to be a Microsoft uh, Defender uh, antivirus definition update. That was all that was in here. So pretty straightforward on that front. You wouldn't see it anywhere else. It would be on this page. It wouldn't be considered an optional update. So if you went under advanced options here, and it went underneath optional updates. I don't believe they list them in here. So just something to keep in mind. So if you check for updates and they're not in here, something else you can do that I have done quite a number of times in the past would be to open up a web browser. I'm just going to open up Microsoft Edge, and I'm going to search for the Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. Go ahead and search for it. And it should be a Microsoft domain. Make sure you're not clicking on an advertisement here. Make sure it says Microsoft.com in the domain. And select the Download Windows 11 button. And underneath where it says Windows 11 Installation Assistant, I'm going to go ahead and select the Download Now button. However, you can also download the ISO image as well and burn it to a DVD. And you can also create Windows 11 installation media as well. A couple of different alternative methods as well. But generally speaking, I would use the installation assistant here. Select yes. The problem is if you're booting off of a DVD, usually you have an issue with actually doing an update as opposed to a clean install. I've noticed that before if you're using the installation bootable media. It wants to do a clean install. It doesn't really let you or doesn't really... Uh, make it easy to do an in-place update or in-place upgrade to a new feature build of Windows 11. So you can see in our case, we're already running the latest version of Windows 11 here, so it's not going to give us an option to update further. However, if you were running an older build of Windows 11, it would give you an option here to go ahead and proceed with the installation. It would check your system requirements. I believe you have to have the PC Checker app installed, or it'll give you a link to install it. Just to make sure that you're eligible to install the latest or newest build of Windows 11. And then you just would proceed with the on-screen instructions. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.